Red button, big man. I keep fucking that Dickless. <laughs> sir, once dick again. Full, dick, dick full, dick full. Dick full, <laughs> sir. Dick full. Or dick something. Dick medium? Sure. <laughs> Welcome to Beer Google. Hola. 8.0. I have no idea. 62.4. Sir. Chilo. It arrived. I'm very excited for you. Us. Us, sir. And the little skull that could. Hello, guy. He had a little tiny head. Hello, guy. He was shrunken. That's what she said. (laughs) (laughs) That's a totally different podcast, sir. (laughs) Blanco tequila, sir? Yes, si, por favor. Si. I don't know. You can do that because you're. Fuck yeah, dude. You're honorary brown dude. Am I? Sweet. I don't know. I get nothing, man. I'll be honorary dude. Whatever it takes. Blanco tequila. Jays. Or as Hammy Hagar said, Moss Tequila. Sir, you have a dachshund again? A who? I'm sure it's dachshundlove.org. Oh, the fucking the dog. And I've got my geeky glass. Sir, let's toast. Salud. Salud, right here. Oh, yes. Yeah. Salud. Oh, this is delicious. I've never had this tequila. What? What is this oh, tequila? Oh, hey, checkmark. Yes. I've missed you so much, oh, senor. I have, mi- I have missed you, sir. I watched this new space thing go up in sky, and I'm like, what happened to Russians? Russians were putting Americans up for years. Now they have their own. Ugh, this is ridiculous. Space check. Yeah, space check. <laughs> check space? Check. Sure. Well, so. What do you, how do you, what's the cheers in Russian? Uh, or, uh, oh, or that's check. a shame that that blew up. No, no dumb just shit. Like, <laughs> cheers, salud. Oh, uh, what's, what's cheers in Russian? Perestroika. Perestroika. I don't know, is that death or something? I forget. I don't what. fucking know, you're the Russian. I, I. I say, like in America, bottoms up, sir. Uh, what a country. Yeah, oh, I love America. Oh, what yes. a Yakov Shmirov like. Yes, what a country. Driving taxi cab. Oh, we are, we are salt and lime short. But yeah, uh, well, I, have I don't mimosa. use that shit anymore, so. I also have mimosa. That's because you're a rock star, sir. So, sir. Sunday, Sunday. Da, da, da. What was that day? Okay, we're going to start with this guy. This is a coin flip app of some sort. And we are going to do our episode known as 10 movies you can take with you to a deserted island, but draft style. And what that means is you choose a movie and it's off the list for the next person. Wait. Before you flip a coin, sir, do we need to make it clear that there are shenanigans afoot? Yes. Uh, oh, would you like to state this, or would you like myself to state this? I, I'm happy to initiate the opening of shenanigans and let you clo- put the bow on it. Go. How about that? All right, so we both know what number one's going to be, because both of us want it. Is that the shenanigans? Yes. That we're talking? Okay. So when you say both of us want it, what exactly does that mean? I know it's your absolute favorite movie and it's number two on my list. Oh, okay. So I, I thought know it was your number three, but go ahead. No. So I know that if you take it, I'm ass out. So I really, it's like, you know, it's like a real draft. So you're trying to draft block me in a I, not intentionally, because I yeah, don't think any of the other ones are going to be crossed over, even though we'll probably have similar ones on the list, but it won't affect us like this. This is like the pick, right? This is Peyton Manning. This is Tom Brady in after the fact, right? Obviously, Manning went one. So this is really Tom Brady, or Manning. It's like Peyton Manning. Definitely not Ryan Leaf. No, <laughs> not Ryan Leaf. That guy. The draft uh, buster. He's an interesting guy. Have you ever seen documentaries? Yeah, on Yeah, it was Sense phenomenal. Me? It was super interesting, dude. Really interesting yeah. how he got caught up in, in what he got caught up yeah, in. Yeah, it's a lot it's of it's really alleged, a so good watch. That was really interesting on how his life turned around after the initial garbage. But then he, garbage. he relapsed multiple times now. Yeah, he's but now he's, now he's a really successful speaker about drug addiction. He was, and all but that I stuff. think he got busted again. I don't think that. so. I think he relapsed. I could be wrong, but yeah, I, I don't want to speak f- poorly of him because... 
it was total turnaround story. Total yes, turnaround it was story. Amazing, it was, yes, absolutely. Good thing we went on a tangent less so, than four minutes in. Well, no, that's perfect. Tangents.com. So I, that's my opening statement. Please uh, add to that piece, and then we will commence with the coin. The only play. thing I have to add is I'm not a dick. I wouldn't do that. You choose it first. It's my number one fucking movie. Of course I would choose it first. I get 10 to take to with me. If I know that you're going to take that one, I want it. I wouldn't do that. Not even a number two, bro. No. I don't even know it's my number two. I don't even know if it's my number one or two. I got to be honest. That's f- lies. Go ahead. Let's flip it's the coin. probably lies. Probably. <laughs> probably. So Christopher has chosen the nickel, apparently. I don't know. I got nothing on that. And shit. you are also going to call it, sir. So this is... Tails. Uh, I don't even know what that looks like, but it looks like the house. Look like, it looks like the bottom. Yeah, it looks the like house the, something. the something. And then I don't know what heads looks like. The head. So, sir, I'm going to flip. Please head call looks it, like and a I will head, tap bro. It. Heads, go. Please be heads. Fuck. It's two out of three. Dude, come on! I already lost. See, I already uh, lost, bro. Fucking hate you, dude. It's over. <sighs> All right. With my first pick in the 2020 10 movies that you can take with you on a deserted island that Christopher won't get, I will choose The Matrix. Fuck you. Take the movie, dude. Because I love you, bro. Dude. I, I love you too much, man. I feel like, look, first of all. I already crossed it off my list. I know, but that's because you're going to choose it now. So I take The Matrix, sir. The Matrix? Matrix is my number one, sir. Dude, you can't. I got to do it, bro. No. I love you too much, man. I can't. I can't. It's not fair. You just said you don't even know what your number one, number two is. I know. It's not fair, bro. You just, you, so you lied. No. That whole intro was for nothing. No, man. I got a conscience, bro. This is not, oh, it's not not conscious. (laughs) Fuck. I got the wrong podcast this time. Uh, Well, I already said it. The envelope has been ripped. You can unsay it. No, I can't unsay it, bro. I already let my finger off the chest piece, bro. So I'm assuming with your number one pick. No, wait a minute. Come on. I love you, bro. Let's do it. I know. It's been a rough look. If, if ever we yeah, I don't on need a, a pity island. fuck or a pity pick. I have a feeling that we would be on a desert island together. I, uh, I don't know. Seventeen could... days. <laughs> seventeen days. We're we're not gonna make it seventeen hours, man. I love you so much. It's my true love for you, bro. And you're right. I sh- It's not my. I don't know if it's my number the one. Grenade for me. Dude. I can't say it's my number one. 100%. And I know it's your number one, so it's really do, not fair. Do we want to talk about... We may st- no, we can't talk about any other one. That is the only one. Do we, we want to talk about why you picked Matrix? Like, sure. why do, yeah. you lo- do you want to talk about yeah. our picks? Yeah, absolutely. Not? No, I do want to talk about it. Do you want to do that gotta, at the we end? We have to fill time. No, right now. Matrix is visually stunning. Had that real time. It was the first time I did the bullet bullet movie stuff the motion the stop motion the idea the concept the because we're going to have a podcast about this in the very near future we didn't even talk about that machines and shit about uploading that's what they do in the movie it's crazy i didn't even think about it like i didn't even think about it somehow it pops in my head i'm like wait a minute they did that not um fishburn fucking phenomenal uh the the guy who plays cypher the guy from He's memento great, dude. fucking phenomenal i love that him. steak so, scene yeah the steak scene. oh fuck it just oh. ignorance is bliss bro it's that movie is ahead of its time yeah take the red and blue pill it's just the movie i i can watch that movie over and over again and find something different in it part of this movie thing is not just my favorite movies because they have to be watchable for the rest of our lives my friends we are on a deserted island. We only have 10 of them. And a good VHS player. Oh, laser disc, bro. I'm taking my laser disc with me. Because most of these movies are on the laser disc, except for that one. Mostly. Mostly. They, they mostly come out at night. Mostly. Okay, Newt. So, sir, with your number one pick, would please tell me your movie? And why? Man, my Catholic guilt is... Bro, that's not Catholic it's guilt. It's coming it out me. of my veins, no, dude. No, bro. You didn't do it to me, bro. But... I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. At the 11th hour... All of that I shit I you. talked. No, bro, because I... You would... Look, you didn't talk shit. I had a change of, of heart, man. <laughs> so what would you like to choose? Let me show you something! Well, obviously, my favorite movie for since 1986 has been Aliens, Best so movie, yeah. I will choose Aliens uh, with Sigourney Weaver and the Colonial Marines and... Paul Reiser, don't forget him. Paul Reiser is not just, the, <laughs> apparently, according to Checkmark, 
not only is Paul Reiser's character a dick, but Paul Reiser's a dick. I do I, not know nothing about the Paul Reiser. I know The Married About You just came out, and it's horrible show. Horrible. Helen, Helen Hunt, Paul Reiser, they are awful chemistry. Why is the H so much in it? Helen. It's like Hanukkah, but, but Hala or, or uh, Hala. I don't know. I don't you, know. Russian, man. What? You want to understand my English? No. Next. Does Checkmark like movies with extraterrestrials in it? I love movies with extraterrestrials, but not like the extraterrestrial. Not that one. But no, that's not on the list. I promise you that. I didn't even, that movie never even crossed my mind. No, neither did, did not cross mine either. Other than sci fi -y, which is really not. It's just a kid's movie. I'm going to take another sip. You do then, you, man. We, but we reg irregardless. Speak more about Aliens, man, because yeah, that's a great movie. I was just going to say, Aliens is my favorite movie. has been uh, since it came out. I remember seeing it in the theater with Tyson. Um, Peace, Tyson. And uh, a bunch of my friends from high school, and it just freaking blew me away. Because it was funny. The comedy was great, well-timed, and it had a military aspect, and obviously the sci-fi aspect, and it had a horror aspect. And the special effects were great and they weren't CGI. It was real puppets. It people. was real aliens and real, the, the CGI that was there wasn't, wasn't overpowering. So I really liked the, I really liked that, how they, how they melded all those, the sci-fi and the military and all the aspects together. And I thought the script was really well done, especially since I was only 15 when I saw it. So it wasn't hard to impress me, but I obviously I've seen it 75 times or some shit like that. And it has John Connor's dad, the dude who went back to yes, the Titanic. Correct. Um, the, the the ugly pudgy dude from Weird Science. <laughs> Tad, Chad, Tad, the brother, the older brother. Bill Hendrickson, yes. No, no. Was, yeah, it was Bill. No, uh, yeah. Well, well, he played Bill Hendrickson yeah. in Big Love on HBO. Oh, yeah, that guy too. Yeah. yeah that guy. And he's dead. He's the really only guy weird. to be killed by a predator, an alien, and a Terminator. Yeah, he was in the second. He's in Predator 2, correct? Yeah. He was Predator 2 with correct. Danny Glover. Correct. Man, I, I'm getting three days. I'm getting too old for this shit. Oh, sir. All right. Well, we have our number ones. We have Matrix is on the board and off the board and Aliens, my friend. That was an excellent choice, by the way. Probably my, that's probably my favorite choice of the, of the evening. <laughs> for my number two, I'm going Goodfellas. I pro, it's probably in your top ten. Or maybe not. Wow. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah, absolutely. Dude, I can't believe you took my pick. Well, I'm <laughs> saying, did I step on you? Was it in your top ten? No. Okay. Well, then that sucks because I blew a, I blew my number two on 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 one that you wouldn't even have in your top. Fucking Scorsese, Leota, Pesci, De Niro. How can you fucking go wrong? It's a great movie. The the one of the one of the criteria for this thing, kind of like we were talking about, Aliens, has everything. Like, can you? Is it watchable multiple times? This is a movie I can watch over and over again. I get. I totally get that. All right, sir. Number two for you. Four Gump. Mother fucker. He's on here. That's it's a good choice. He was not in my. It, he would have probably moved up, but he's not on here. Probably. Probably. Forrest Gump. Please share Forrest Gump. Well, what an I excellent mean, second choice to follow up. I mean, I, I, everyone knows the movie, and I've seen that fifty times, and. I think, again, it goes to humor and the script and how it... I love history, and I I think that it ties in so many historical events over decades, and I think that that's very interesting on how one man is tied into all those events. And obviously it's fiction, but I really thought that was very well done. And, it, and the music is great. And not only the music that, you know, Elvis and all the other artists that were used on the soundtrack but also the music the score itself i thought was very well done and you know there's some sad parts and but it's still there's this is dumb there's life lessons like hey don't be a dick you like <laughs> love people and take care of people and you know like hey even though you didn't have to give money to bubba's mom he did like Ta-da! I saw it twice, Jen. I was tell you what. I, saw I was running. Days. So bought it, bought it, pay fry, pay <laughs> fry, deep fry. That's about all you get, my friend. So I think there's a lot of. He was so simple, but yet 
amazing. And I think there's a lot of people out there like that that aren't appreciated. Well said. And the movie as a whole is just, it's wholly entertaining. Absolutely. I mean, From start to finish. There's, there's death. I mean, there's, you've got HIV. Which well you do which before you, we COVID as, we was, assume it's HIV okay they never actually right, say that but they heavily imply 1983 you they assume, heavily imply you assume it is that she's sick with something unknown yes do you have a cough I'm gonna take a cold a jump. right you know I'm gonna mean? jump I'm gonna jump that we cold. assume it is right but like regardless of all of that like it has that it has the Vietnam War in it I mean like you said it passed all those generations multiple of presidents four did he visit or three it was, it JFK. Was, Johnson and Nixon for sure. I just remember those three, but I thought there may be a fourth. I but regardless, that movie Ford? No. No, it wasn't Ford. It might have been Reagan, but I don't know. Reagan was not. No. No, Nixon would have been the last one. Because it wasn't Carter. It was Johnson. Well, Ford was after It was Kennedy, Johnson, and Nixon were the three I think he met. But I don't I could be wrong. Regardless. It's all good. Because Nixon was the the ping would, pong, right? Right. It would have been right before he got because Watergate. Of Watergate. Remember he called. He called in remember, Watergate. Yeah. Called, it's funny how an unremarkable man was part of so many remarkable. Events. Yeah. Like the Alabama being desegregated. You know. Yeah, I love how they went through history like that. Yeah, it was interesting. I like agree. Ba- Mad Men was in in that way, and I don't. It's total tangent, but that show went through like historical events, right? JFK being shot and then landing on the moon. Yeah. Like throughout their the growth of their the business run. or yeah. whatever. Mm-hmm. So it's neat how they incorporate the fiction of that life and how they would have felt about it as like an abstract to what reality was. It's, yeah, it is uh, absolutely. Really Forrest Gump, that's a top, that's a top two movie. Sorry, bro. Sorry, man. I still love you. With that said, this is where it gets fucking crazy. Cause I have no idea where I'm going next. You're such not a Virgo dude. Well, the thing is, I feel like this this list changes as things get removed off the list. So okay. you got Forrest Gump. Now something's got to fill its spot. But is it, and what fills its spot? Is that something you might take? So do I sit on it? Because you didn't have a good fellas on your list. I'm disappointed. Did I that. or did I not? Well, you said you didn't. Could I be lying? I don't know. Am but I, I wish you were. Am I tricky enough to do that? Crafty. Oh, She's crafty. All right, I'm doing it. Do it. I'm just going to pull it. I'm okay. going to pull in the gun. Fight Club. Watchable. Hey, fuck you, dude. I can't believe Is it on your list? I can't it's believe you not. fucking did it's that, not dude. On your list, bro. You cocksucker. You liar. You're such a liar. Fight Club, man. Come on. First of all, it's, the book is well written. I didn't read it, but I'm sure it's well written. Polaniuk. You, you, you gifted me a book called Damned by him. Remember that, movie, that book, Damned? No. Uh, you sent it. To, you gave it to me. It's a white cover, D A M N E D. Shaw Palanichuk, Palanichuk. Anyway, that's the guy who wrote Fight Club. So, uh, Palanichuk. I think I gave it back to you, but regardless of all that. Yeah, you didn't anyway, read it. Fight. No. Bro, I forgot you're not a reader. I'm stupid. Why'd I give you a book? I'm so dumb. Because I'm because you're smart. You're trying to. I need to. You know to make me do? better. I try to. I need to give you a book on tape. Yeah. <laughs> you just. You're trying I need to, make to give me you an better, audible right? fucking gift card. <laughs> All right, I will. I will listen to Damned all day. But Fight Club. Why? Let's be honest. Because it, they teach you how to make fucking bombs out of soap. What it? What it is? Is this? What it is that uh, Ed Norton is a fucking mastermind. He just owns that role. In his role, Brad Pitt owns the role as the antithesis of him. Spoiler alert: It's the same fucking guy. But the way they do it is so smart and even watching it over and over again knowing still going is it like i scratched my head watching that and the way times. that they treat the woman oh Carolina yeah Lena bottom the monkey chick yeah yeah i am sam spleen or whatever the fucking shit and whatever <laughs> the, the one who was in the showed up in the cancer thing that he that he banged a lot and then he banged her as both yeah them. but yeah. at she it was like night and day he was bipolar yeah i mean like the way that literally He's like, what are you doing here? Yeah. As they just got out of bed. Just got out of bed. And you're like, and what? Like, Fuck you too. And the first time I saw it, no fucking clue. I mean, let's right. be you're honest. T- like, you're completely surprised. I am rarely, rarely blindsided by a movie. Did you know in Sixth Sense? I did not pay enough attention. 
to six cents. I'm very disappointed because I think I would have, I'd like to think I would have had the cues to pick up on it, but I didn't pay enough attention when I watched the first time. I was just bring, I was trying to zone out. Like sometimes I watch movies to not think. And usually I overthink everything in my life anyway. So Well, that's not a bad thing. I mean, no, no. So I just, so you, in, you didn't, you, in six cents, you didn't know it was, it was a reveal, but for example, unbreakable, I kind of figured out that the ending of that with Mr. Glass, if you remember, like, the yeah, he was that. really fragile and the other guy was, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. was so, unbreakable. Right. Okay. Yeah. I remember Bruce, like Bruce, what's his name? Yes. And I mean, there's a lot of movies that are like, I, we use the Shawshank effect. I, I said it multiple times. Don't Shawshank this. I didn't watch Shawshank for the first 15 years. I believe it was. And tangent time, <gasps> story time. I'm like so excited. Is it story time? Press the button. Oh, press, press the button. Yes. Not many story times. Hello, boys. And hello, Twitter world. This is story time with OJ. <laughs> um, now close your eyes because you can't see it coming. Um, this is what happened. So 15 years, everybody's like, Shawshank's like the best movie ever, bro. And every it's always on like TBS or TNT. You know, it's it's edited for time and content. So I'm like, I have to watch the the actual movie. I can't just watch it on TV. It would, it would it'd miss something. Why didn't Why didn't you watch it the first 15 years? Because everyone kept saying, oh my God, it's the best thing. And I'm like, I'm afraid if I watch this fucking thing that I will, um, it will not live up to the heightened expectations that it had given. I officially call it the Shawshank effect because I think this is the one movie that it's done more to me than any other movie. Because when I talk about this one in a logical aspect way, people go ape shit. They are emotional about this movie. They love this movie. Guess what? Guess what's not in my top 10? So basically, Eddie Murphy Raw. <laughs> oh, my. Delirious, bro. Uh, <laughs> get the shit out of my motherfucking house. And that was in the house. But the house. Get yeah, the fuck but out. You sounded Jewish when you said yeah, that. Yeah, you don't like it? Get the fuck out. Isn't that what he did? He do Jewish or did he? No, he, he was doing his black father, dude. Because he was Gumby, damn it. I'm Gumby, damn I'm Gumby, damn it. What the hell is this? Uh, so, uh, anyway, watch Shawshank. And, like, as it's going, like, hammers in the book spoiler alert all these other things i'm like he's putting an account in his name all that shit so like it was awful when everyone felt i feel like they were like oh my god it was such a surprise but that story time's over bro that's that was bad that was great oh my god you're like yeah. so now anytime someone oversells something I start with like I don't want to Shawshank. Hey, it, um, can I ask you a really question? Delicious. Yes. What's your job? Aren't you in sales? Uh, yeah. Do you bit. oversell stuff? <laughs> Never. Oh. <laughs> Give me a <laughs> shot, fucker. I underdeliver. I'll tell you that. I much. oversell and underdeliver. I oversell and underdeliver the shit oh, out of that. Fucker. <laughs> fucking Shawshank. <laughs> then I realized. That was my Morgan. That was my Morgan Freeman. Salute. Salute. Oh, uh, Perestroika. I I think Perestroika is like go to hell or something. So I hope I didn't say the wrong thing. It's a great. Song, please, man. Twitter world. Please, please tell. No, Chick say Mark. it correctly. Hello, Twitter Thank world. You. Please, please come and tell me what this drink is. Please come and tell me. Yeah. So now we have a. I kill have, you. The no, Matrix no. is number uno. We have aliens for you, Jace. And then we have the Goodfellas. Yes. Followed by Forrest Gump. Yes. Well, now Fight Club is number three. Yes. Okay. What is your number four? Number three, sir, please. Number three? Three. Oh, yes, the juice of the gods. The local gods. Oh, Do we need to get damn. you some lime? We need to take a break and get you some limes there, little mm -hmm. pussy? Excuse Who me. Who you calling huh? a pussy? Huh? Hello. To the world. Hello. Huh? Huh? I'm a... <laughs> No, I'm not doing that. Oh, man, I'm, not, I'm not doing right. I'm not doing that. Man. Not touching that I'm fucking I'm a white side. guy playing a chip mark. I'm <laughs> playing a white guy. I'm an American guy playing a Russian guy playing an American guy. Drinking a mimosa. Mimosa. Drinking tequila out of a Mexican biker helmet. <laughs> biker helmet. <laughs> With a little baby head. With a skull. He was shrunk, man. Voodoo shrunk. I got this Louisiana. Oh, he's got Zika. Oh. Speaking of a Too pandemic. Soon? Too, too late. Way too late. Way too late, bro. Uh, number three on my list, sir. Yeah. Star Wars, episode four, A New Hope. 
We knew that was coming. The original 1977 version. If you happen to look at my number four, oh, sorry. Don't, don't show me list. your list, bro. That, put that away. That's disgusting. Uh, the 77 version, not the remastered George Lucas fucked up version from mean, like 1999. You mean the one I have on Laserdisc? The one he has on fucking Laserdisc where Han shoots first. Direct but I, I don't really care about that HF. bullshit. Han shot first. Uh, a Greedo. Uh, I don't care about that. I care about the... The the scenes that he added with like extra creatures and shit and Jabba, oh, that's the fuck worst that fucking shit. scene. Oh, the original scene is the fucking fat white guy. Yeah, I'll that take he walks the, around. I'll take the fat white guy scene. Right? No, no, well, no. I don't want to take it at all. No, they, just yeah, have it correct. remixed. Yeah, yeah. No, but, no, you want the seventy seven version? Correct. What the extra footage with like extra creatures and shit? Yeah. It doesn't look right. You're like, it's dude, not. it's so out of place. Fuck, just give me the original version. What I saw when I was a kid. And, you know, and fucking call it even, man. And Star Wars, that 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 fucking movie changed many lives, including mine. And I saw it in the theater when I was six years old. And it's go ahead. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm I'm good. What? <laughs> Look, we learned last time that we me learned... interrupting is a really bad fucking idea. So I'm shutting up as best I can. Oh, I'll just start drawing on your leg with my sharpie. Sharpie, sharpie. It'll be dull in a second. And I need many sharpies. Bro. I need a twelve pack. So, uh, I'm just doing this and to not talk. So just leave me alone, bro. You should squeeze the helmet. Like a, like a stress ball. Yeah. He's no, he's no, he's no you pliable, will, sir. You will squeeze he's the like, Zika head. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, Star Wars is Star Wars 77. You were six years old. Yeah. And seeing the theater and is, was amazing. And I'll never forget that. That was one of the coolest things my dad ever did was take me to see that. So number three, go. Star Wars shaped, I arguably, an entire generation of how we played. Oh, yeah, dude. All those figures and shit. Sword fights. No one was doing fucking sword fighting like Lancelot style. They were doing lightsaber fights in, oh, in, yeah. when I was growing up. There was not a single, there wasn't a single unpainted broomstick, my friend, that was red or blue. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's then just, green when Jedi came out, right? Like, and and I just we talked about last time, but like it was Revenge of the Jedi, and then all of a sudden the poster says Return, and you're like, I remember Steel Trap Memory. I'm like, what what happened? And yeah. I didn't know anything, and I'm not even old enough. What what year was M uh, Return? Eighty three. Eighty three. So I'm eight. I'm eight, probably turning nine in September. So just like you, you're probably six turning seven in eighty in seventy seven. Right. I'm three. I don't know when it was. Was it summer? I would assume. Yeah, May. Okay, so it was like a. It was like more a summer release, kind of, summer correct. release kind of. Yeah. but it didn't have the fanfare initially. No, I didn't at think all. it was going to no. be. It just got released then, and then it took off. Right. Correct. Smart motherfuckers are smart. So what happened was, uh, for me, it was I was three. I didn't get to see it. I did not see any movie theater Star Wars, and initially, out of the box was Return for me. Just my parents. Did were a you more see? Was that the first one you ever saw? Did you no, ever? No, I saw the other ones, obviously. Oh, on like, tape? Yeah, on okay. tape or whatever. Okay. But not not anything. My 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 best friend growing up like had like one of those video rental like cards, like, and he would always they always had videos because they had like four kids and the parents were always working and whatever. So it was like a good babysitter, and we took advantage of that. So Heck I watched yeah. a lot of that, but. uh it's funny, I got hooked on movies and whatever, and he's like a biochemist working for some crazy fucking company. He's doing awesome, and I'm wow. Senior podcasting with Christopher. So I mean, he's um, got to be oh super God. jealous, dude. He's totally jealous. He's like, fuck yeah, my life fuck, sucks. Fuck trace commas, bro. <laughs> fuck trace commas. Uh, I don't know if he's at three. He's definitely in, in the two range, two plus for he's, sure. He's well, we're getting thrice tequilas. He's, he's so fuck so yeah, to your point, Star Wars just shaped a generation, man. God, it's good. And my number four, which I'm not going to use now because you're only going to choose one. See, that's why it moves down. Uh, whatever, dude. Number I'm not four on my list logic. is a Star Wars movie, my friend. But I know you're not picking another one. We're not allowed. Yeah, we're allowed up to two from a franchise. Oh, uh, we, we not make that. Oh, okay. Then we're not allowed. No, no, to do I that. meant. I thought we did. I thought we were, I thought we made that stipulation. Like, cause like, say there's Harry Potter's, there's like nine of them, right? Oh well, fuck. Well, I'm. Did it change? Does that change? I don't know. Do, so do we want to edit the rules? It's a, take a look at your list and you tell me. And in the meantime, we're gonna da 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 da. Please no. excuse our dust during our intermission, ladies and gentlemen. I only have one of each, so it's not like I. Okay, have any. so you only have one of each. Correct. 
I only have one, but I I thought we were allowed to like like I said. If well, you want to have one, one and each, Harry Potter then we're good because okay. then we both a bit a cool. bid abode. Cool. Yes, yeah. Then we, we took a bath. Correct. <laughs> by the same rules, then move along. All right. So Unpause. once again, aliens. Number two was Forrest Gump. Yes, sir. Number three is now a new hope. New hope. Shit, we're all sci-fi. This is where I don't know what to choose next. Well, four scumps, not fucking sci-fi. No, no, no. But you got two or three. Yeah. And I, and I went Matrix, Goodfellas, and Fight Club. Yeah. I'm going to have to come back around. I'm gonna to, I guess I'll go, I'll go Terminator 2. You don't seem very, imp- you don't seem very incited about your pick. Terminator 2, Judgment Ooh. Day. It's the one I'm choosing. When there's no tomorrow, well, there's only I'm today. I'm afraid to take the other ones, bro. And that one, I I have to, I, I need that one. Uh, I can't have another term. Check Terminator mark. Salvation, I take. Yes. Is Terminator 2 your final answer? What is Terminator 2? There's a second one? 1991, Terminator 2. No, not, not, not where I live. Betamax. Terminator just come out. Oh wow! No, number one, this guy from Aliens. Yes, Connor Foster. He's he's in number uno, <laughs> number one. He just came out. It's great, great Time movie. Warp. And it's got these Schwar- this black n- Schwarzenegger. <laughs> I will show. He's from now. Austria. Yeah. Oh, but he's but his name's Black, and Black. I don't know if you know that his name's Black Black. It is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarz. Oh, and, oh, shut up. And that's what it means. Well, Negra is black. I didn't know that. Well, Negra is black. So he's literally Schwartz is black in German. Oh, no shit. And is like, yeah, it's weird, right? Oh, wow. So, I, had, I didn't know that. Well, I never thought about this it. This is my official. This is me not just joining the march. This is me taking a black, black man. Wow. And I had no, I never thought about it. I don't give a shit. You're welcome. You're welcome, Twitter Hello, world. Hello, Twitter world. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Terminator Twitter 2 world. fucking I remember that was the movie that I remember watching with my boys coming I think it was right after yeah in high school 90? yeah 90 91 so right in there I think it was 90 I think you're right packed theater 10 of us all like you know masturbatory ridiculous kids that just have nothing better to do because we don't have girlfriends or anything we're yeah, fucking yeah we talked about that on the, on the nerds and geeks the sequel podcast yeah it's fucking beautiful I just remember that beautiful Terminator 2 Book it. Yeah. Uh, number four, sir. <sighs> Raiders of the Lost Ark. <gasps> oh, fuck. That's a good one. Did I steal anything? No, it's not even on my list. I'm really upset that I even think of it. I was trying to go like Lucas Spielberg, Lucas Spielberg, Lucas See, Spielberg. See, that's where so we get stuck. I'm in not a big of a, fan of either one of them. I know. And I thought about, well... I thought about uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind because I really do like that. But there's so many parts of the movie that just drag on. You know, like... uh, Like him with his family. I mean, just like Richard Dreyfuss, tell Terry Gar to shut the fuck up and get (sighs) out of there. Just, I love the mashed potato scene. Terry Gar. And I, I, you know, and I'm like, you, you know, the way he's figuring out that... Something else is talking to him. I love that. You mean Richard Dreyfus? Yeah, your impression's terrible. Stuff. My Richard Dreyfus is a phenomenal impression from Hot to Trot. That's not Richard Dreyfus. It's Richard Dreyfus. That so. sounds like more like George from fucking Seinfeld. Yeah, uh, both Jewish gentlemen in their elderly elders. <sighs> I, qu- I fucking quit. I fucking quit. <laughs> You know what? I'm just going to let you. Jew. I'm just going to let okay? you <laughs> continue to believe it's amazing, and I'm going to like, dude, that's the best Richard Drivers. You should keep doing it. Don't check mark. Don't ever stop doing that impression. It's amazing. I Would love it. Would you like check marks impression? Richard Fuck Clark? yeah, check mark. Hello, I'm Richard Drivers. I let it ride on hot to trot. Did uh, like check I'm- mark like uh, when Richard Drivers was on the boat in Jaws? Is that closer? Than my other impression of the actual Richard Dreyfuss? Yes, it is. Oh, that's not, okay. I'll shut. I'll shut up for the rest. <laughs> no, <laughs> keep, keep, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep no, it's totally fucked up because that's wrong. Ill but my Richard Dreyfuss, I thought was good. Ill regardless, Raiders of the Lost Ark is fucking amazing. Raiders of the Lost Ark is good. Uh, the whole trilogy, the Crystal Skull does not exist. The whole that trilogy is good. Trilogy's Temple of Doom is questionable. Ill regardless, 
Raiders is fucking sick. Holy shit, it just popped another trilogy into my head. Fuck. Oh, dear. Trilogies Jesus. are, first of all, trilogies are the way to go. They really are. They For something about it, there's, you've got. Ah, but I, it's a challenge, man, because you could go down the shitter real fast. It it's can. difficult to maintain the integrity of good stories. True. It's very difficult to, to keep. The characters is easy. If you develop a good character, no problem. Right. But the stories can go poopy fast. Fuck, Raiders of the Lost Ark. God damn it. Because that story is awesome. Nazis. I hate you. It's like in, 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 in yeah. uh, Last Crusade, they regurgitated the Nazis. Right. That's not cool, man. It's still a good story. Well, still during the Nazi time. Remember, well, remember the that. other one was pre Nazi time. Pre, like, really yeah, taking it was over. 33, yeah. Right. So I so, understand that it's still during, it was 39. It was chronological. I understand that. But yeah. they still regurgitated a bad guy. They did. And that's, mm, I, I'm not okay with that because I'm, I'm like, dude, I'm a purist. Like, dude, yeah. come up with something else. It was, they had Sean Connery. It was great. Anyway, Raiders is awesome. We named the dog Indiana. Right, he's fucking uh, awesome. Last Crusade, and phenomenal. I did love how both but you took you took Last Crusade. No, no, Raiders you took Raiders. Lost Ark, the original. Because yeah. Last Crusade is arguably my favorite entertainment wise. It was very good, absolutely. Just the banter between Connery and Harrison and Ford. Yeah. Uh, and I love how they both slept with the German chick. I fucking Ava. love that. And they both are Dr. Jones. And yeah, and, I was great. And and that was the guy. It was uh, it was the um, the guy who was in that was Total Recall. The huh? bad guy, the, he's Cohagen in Total Recall. See you at the party, Cohagen. Or not Cohagen. The other guy. The other bad guy. Richter. Richter and Cohagen. Wasn't Cohen, the main the main Nazi the guy who drank out of the king's cup oh, who turned into yes, like old dude yes, whatever okay was the bad yes, guy yes, in Total yes, Recall yes, right yes, yes, okay okay I didn't know what the no, guy, no I know the I, guy, I was being not wrong. A, I'm the sorry, American I'm so wrong. that hires him at the beginning I apologize now yes. I thought you meant the Nazi colonel okay foul no it's cool foul, I didn't that, get that I was not clear yeah um, but, but anyway I think Raiders is because no, it was right. different and. Like the fight scene with with the German at the airfield, and he yeah, backs into the propeller. Yes. It's just that big was, guy. It was so different. You know I, what I mean? I remember seeing that in like Universal, like when they they did the whole Boulder thing. Like the even the ride was fucking impressive. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. And the one even in Disney is pretty impressive. Oh yeah, it's really nice as a whole. So five or four? Four was Raiders. Raiders, God damn it! I hate you, bro. I love you so much. <sighs> well. Sorry? No, you're not. No, you're not. All right, so... Tears <laughs> of <next>. sadness. <laughs> my next pick. <laughs> I'm just going to do it. Animal House. Oh, fuck. Sorry, bro. I, 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 he was at eight, but I had to move him up. Okay. You went... You, you, you've got so many good movies that are not uh, that genre... A comedy's got to be close for you, so I'm sorry, um, and I'm not doing it to take it from you. I understand. I understood. I totally. It's up there. I, it's it's on my list. It's fine. Animal House, boom. What can you say about Animal House? Belushi, Bacon. I mean, how many six degrees of Kevin Bacon does that open up? Many, many, many degrees. Many, 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 many. Yeah, it's Deborah Winger also in Raiders. Yes. Well, now that we th now I think about it, is that Deborah Winger? Wasn't it Deborah Winger? I thought it was. No, it's not Deborah Winger. In Animal House? No. Boone? Or what's her name? Katie? Yeah. Oh, we're going to need to check. I'm going to have to check it's that. It's not but. Deborah Winger and Raiders. Because Deborah Winger oh. was in Officer and a Gentleman. It's not R the same oh, chick. Oh, it's not. Am I getting a mix? I think it's... A, what's her name? I think it's the one that's in Raiders, though. I could be wrong. The one that drank him under the table in the beginning, right? She's all... Yeah, that's not Deborah Winger. No, I don't... Um, I know. In, in Tibet, Twitter, when she Twitter, does I the apologize. shot glasses and slips them over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I fucked that up, but Ooh, it's Animal on. House. Number five is Animal House because... I love that scene with uh, Otter and the, the dean's wife in the grocery store <laughs> yes. with the cucumbers. Mine's bigger. God, that was... My cucumber is bigger. I think it was great. Maybe you can show me sometime. Otter, please. Uh, I mean, so many. Like, Otis Dane. Oh, Otis <laughs> loves us. Like Otis, my yeah. man. Mind if we dance with your dates? Not at all. No, no, we were just leaving. What a great! I mean, we could pretty much do this whole movie right from the beginning. And Belushi at his best. I mean, you need a Belushi. Well, you don't need one, but it fucking helps to have a Belushi. Dude, when he movie. walks down the stairs and grabs the guitar, guitar. <laughs> I gave my love a cherry. Boo. <laughs> so, sorry, man. 
<laughs> and which, he was like the most sensitive, gentle asshole in the history of gentle asshole. Can you imagine being on the set and just being a fly in the wall during, after the takes and them partying? And think I about the cocaine. everything because I couldn't write it fast enough. That had to be so cool. And and the story of I've heard I've seen like the documentary of Animal House how they did because it was in Oregon right it was yes Oregon State I believe not University of one of the other I think it's Oregon State I could be wrong I thought it was in Eugene no Eugene Corval whatever regardless probably University of Oregon regardless I'm wrong let's just let's start with I'm wrong um, hello to the but he flew back and forth between like he would go out one day and do the SNL stuff and then fly all the way out there and finish. Holy fuck! That dude had to be on fucking something. Oh yeah, he was on. He was a known cocaine user. It was. I know. That's what I mean. That's what's so sad about is like his genius. Well, I don't think his genius came from the drug as much as he had genius, but he needed to fuel it. Chris Farley, same thing. Demons, man, dude. Yeah, that was a problem. Big fat white guys who are entertaining and creative have real problems in SNL. Apparently, it's a weird thing. Ratio sands much. Well, I know, but I know it. I love you. Though. Whoa, sorry. May I ask what number you had that at? Because your 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 Libra or, or your Virgo was Animal House. Great. I had at fourteen. Oh, it's not okay. So, so it wasn't even. It was a replacement for one of your top ten, really. Okay, so you're that well. So I didn't take one from me, but that's okay. It's good. It's a good one. It's worth. It's worth being number five. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not gonna. I, I'm not gonna argue that at all. It's also on my laser. It's almost on laser disc. I you, yes, you're the Congress of Library of Laserdisc, dude. What's wrong with that, bro? Not not a thing. It's a fucking compliment. How, how many discs, how many shiny discs do you have of any size or tape of any size or shape or color that shows Han shooting? Not first, but only, by the way. May I clarify that? Not only did Han shoot first, he's the only motherfucker who shot. We don't even get a goddamn shot off in the first one. What are we talking about? And now he's returning fire? No, thank you. Animal House. How's therapy going? Do you um, talk about Han shooting couch. first a lot in therapy? There's a couch. <laughs> and by the Hi, way, Mark, uh, do you want to talk about Han shooting first again this week? I do, Doctor. But Doctor, doctor. it still hasn't changed. Like, I watch it again, and I've made all these changes in my life, and Han still doesn't, Han still doesn't, he doesn't shoot first in the movie. Mark, tell me about Greedo. How does that make you feel? And how does that make you feel? I don't fucking... Isn't that what he sounds like a little bit? Which docking bay are they going to meet at, Mark? Uh, docking bay 11. 94. Wrong. 12 par 6. Did you know park 6 was a, di- t- a distance, not a fucking time? It's stupid as fuck. Did you know that? No. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome, by the way. When he taught, when he brags about how many park 6 he does in or how few... It's not speed, bro. It's jumps. It's distance. Ugh. Just saying. <laughs> um, so Animal House, number five. What, what's number five for you, sir? Before I reveal my fifth pick, sir, yes. uh, we're going to need more shots. <gasps> shot, shot. I give shot. Jake, don't, don't Jake Mark is on the case. Uh, burn up. Um, Blanco tequila, so, and I have to ask you Mas a question. Tequila. Whoa! Was... Before I before before I reveal my fifth pick, I have to ask you a question. Shoot! Why do you think I had to ask you for a shot before I revealed my pick? What do you think my fifth pick is? Because I had to ask for a shot. Oh, fuck! This is not good. <laughs> You're right. It's not. I'm, fucking... a, I'm fucked, aren't I? No. And you're I, not fucked at all. I'm saying I don't know what it's in regards it's, You're not fucked at all, but why did I ask for a shot of tequila to reveal this pick? Because you're not fucked. I'm unfucked. Totally. Oh. Uh, screw. I don't know, bro. From Dust Till Dawn? <laughs> <laughs> How, I oh, thought we were doing good just, movies, not bad fucking movie. number one, That's bro. actually a really funny movie. Well, because anyway. big titties. Oh, I was thinking because Cheech. Oh no, that's not Dustin. Pussy. That's- we got eggs and pussy. pussy. We got pussy. We got eye pussy. pussy. We're a penny. <laughs> <laughs> Buy any pussy, get a pussy of equal or lesser equal value for a penny. Come on. No, I was I was thinking not Dustin. That was um, Desperado. Sorry, no. Desperado. 
I thought that was in From Dust Till Dawn, The Pussy for a Penny. It is, but uh, I got I meant to say Desperado. I love Desperado, bro. Yeah, because... Hello. So, um, women. Desperado. It is Antonio Banderas. Why don't you come to your senses? He never comes to his senses, bro. He's a Desperado. I'm the worst Mexican-American He's idol. desperate. In El Mundo. <laughs> So you don't so have a five. you don't have a guess, oh, man. as to why I would ask you for a tequila before revealing my fifth pick. <gasps> Pee Wee's Big House. No, because <laughs> <laughs> that's what he dances to, bro. Oh fuck, no. Come Sorry, on, that's bro. a good. See, so you're throwing me pick. a lot of different a- angles, bro. I, just tell me. Shawshank Redemption. <gasps> oh no fucking way! I will drink to that, sir. Oh fuck! I can't believe you're a fucking asshole. Oh my god, that's you know what? I should have fucking I I redact all my picks. I'm taking aliens, bro. Yeah, I just gotta (laughs) I'm taking aliens. You can't no take backs. There's no take backs, bro. I fucking love you and I hate Shawshank. I knew you hated it. But I did my I did you should have put it at ten because you knew I wasn't gonna fucking put it on my list. I I'm gonna I but I did my movies in order. I already had my top seven based upon a conversation with Abel because he's a movie guy. We should have talked with Anthony before this so I knew exactly which way, how I act. Your uh, Saturn is up Uranus, and so I see that Shawshank is number five on your list. (laughs) Please share the opposite of my opinion as to why Shawshank is on your list and why it's number five, sir. Um, I also agree with you that it, it, it is somewhat predictable in the... That he was setting him up. No shit. And he was... The, the the paperwork and the blah, 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 and the deposits and blah, blah, blah. But I thought it was well written in the way that Andy Dufresne also... Um, that's my white family name, by the way. Um, spelled the same and everything. Dufresne. Um, I thought that was ironic because there's not that's that a many. Reveal. I I didn't know you, you didn't were know that. Fresno. So that's my yeah. I'm shocked. This is yeah. Shocked the right French now. part of me on my yeah. What's up, French flag? What up? Um, so the cracker with beans, chalu. So, um, the way that he integrated into the jail, and the yeah. way he became friends with Red and Brooks and those those guys, and the way that scene on the roof with the tar, and the way that he kind of manipulated the the guard to get them those beers and the way that he the Mozart scene you know and, and when he said you can't take the hope from me or that's not the right word but yeah, he so, goes they can't yeah. take that from you hope is a good thing hope is the best of things I love that message it's giving me chills right now so and when he it's a movie about hope it's fucked the fucking, the, of course it. the fucking hammers in the Bible. Sorry, bro. No, it's okay. It still bothers me. Uh, you're totally okay. entitled to your opinion, and that's fine. But to me, the movie was about hope. And the fact that he gets out and he gets to the beach, it's about hope. Even in the worst of times, it's about hope. And I love that. That's what it's about. Zay Wataneo, that shit. And the fact that his friend for all those years takes a chance and gets on a fucking bus goes to fucking Mexico just to perhaps see his friend. That's about hope and trust. And that's cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and that's, that's why I like it. And the message, it's a good movie. I'm going to tell you it's a good movie. It's well written. My, my challenge with it was that it, that it was overhyped prior to me seeing it. That's the problem. And I knew the quality movie it was going in. Or that it was supposed to be good. But when you hear everyone tell you. For for, 15 years. And the more I waited, the stronger that different, that different distance got between reality of the goodness of the movie and what everyone, you know, applied as the greatest movie of all time. Apparently, by the time I got to listen or got to watch it. But the acting's phenomenal. It's obviously not the greatest movie of all time. Tim Robbins. Tim Robbins. Tim Robbins is amazing. Well, and yeah, absolutely. you know Morgan Freeman, dude. Yeah, and Morgan Freeman's amazing. Like I just going through those two alone, just I like them. I like a lot of things that Robbins is in. Uh, you know, I like he's he's a weirdo, but good movie. Well, Bull Durham, dude. Yeah, Nuke Lelouch. That's right, but that's hard for me to like because you know me and baseball or yeah, S- yeah. Baseball. Well, I know, but it's still a funny movie. It's a great movie. It's a great movie. 
I agree. Sir. Shawshank? This is my number five. Damn. All right. I started with The Matrix, ladies and gentlemen. Goodfellas, Fight Club, Terminator 2. Number five is Animal House. Number six, my friends, Pulp Fiction. (laughs) Had to do it, bro. And he's right in there. I didn't even have to slip him in. He was at six. Pulp Fiction was the movie that was so unique. And I remember my buddy watched it at home and I was in college. I didn't watch it till I came back home and we went to one of those dollar movies things like after it had been played for a while. And he's like, hello, Twitter world. Do you think that I ask questions throughout movies and talk too much? The answer is yes. Oh, it's sir. fucking horrible. Oh, check mark just got his feeling hurt. It hurts a little bit in the heart. It hurts a little bit. And you know what's so funny is that because I have uh, permanent hearing damage from too many Slayer concerts, Mark asks me questions and I only or says something and I I actually only really understand about fifty one percent of them. Fifty one point six. So you still get four hours of questions because you only hear I get yes yeah, so if the movie <laughs> is two hours and yeah. seven minutes I get two hours and seven minutes of questions but I only actually understand one hour and three minutes of them <laughs> and 30 seconds back to you Mark the, no thank you for clarifying <laughs> so it was one of those though I fly home and we're like hey we're gonna watch this I'm movie I'm sorry you flew where home thank you you're gonna go home first I talk on the phone and I got some water I drank some water I called my buddy at home on the phone and I said, yo, I'm coming home a little bit. You're going to go over there to the movies and then we're going to watch a movie and then we're going to talk about it. And what kind of pasta are you going to have? Macaroni and gravy. You going to get a lager? Maybe, but if I order a water and she says lager and I go, yeah, and I think it's water and I get a lager. It's a whole fucking thing. I don't want to talk about that it. sounds fucking terrible. I had trauma, sir. The last one. <laughs> so pull fiction. Sorry, is that um, called lager trauma? <laughs> so... Yeah. Okay. I think I think it's I think something like that. It's just beer just trauma beer trauma. But um to that point, uh so my friends like don't ask any questions. Obviously not spoiler alert, pulp fiction moves around in different timelines, bounces back and forth. So you really have no fucking idea what's going on until really it all comes together. I know that the first scene is them pulling up to go to the guy's house, and the second scene is or the last scene is Bruce Willis riding off on the motorcycle. Those are, I have done the, I've done the, 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 the vision, the vision. Yes. I've judged it. <laughs> I've judged it and found out that, uh, the first scene is really them going to the, go to that guy's house at the apartment complex. And the last scene is Bruce Willis and the woman riding away on Zed's bike. Zed's dead, baby. Zed's, Zed's dead. dead. But that's not the end of the movie, nor is the other one, the beginning of the movie. So that's where it gets all, whew, and it's fucking Quentin Tarantino. There's a, I mean, I could pick a couple because they're all uniquely good in their own way, but that one I could just watch over and over again. I can quote it. I know it. I like the characters. I like the way they did it. So, six. For friction. And it's got a cool porno name. Like, if you really want to turn it into a porno. <laughs> uh, I, I saw Pulp Fiction in the theater, and I hated it. I, I just I didn't get it. I didn't. I, I was just like what the what the fuck. I'm, s- I'm like, all the actors are amazing. They're you know I mean like, why don't I like this movie? It's fucking terrible. Then it c- comes out on HBO or whatever you know VHS or fucking whatever the fuck. I don't even know what year it came out or eighty ninety nine or some shit right. Yeah. Nine, and then I'm like and I don't even know why I watched it again. I don't know some wife. I don't know. It was like 94. Oh, shit. Some girlfriend, whatever the fuck. I'm just saying. It was a while. Yeah. And I watched it again, and I'm like, this is good. Why didn't I like this? And I've seen it 10 times now. And of course, I like it. But I don't know why I didn't like it. I I don't know. Did my brain just not? And I like movies that jump around. I think that's very, I like that shit. Memento is a good one. I like where your mind goes, Oh, this is now and this is then and this person looks older, younger, do 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 do. I like that. But I didn't that movie f- was fucking bad. I remember going, that f- I fucking hate that. Wow. Yeah. That's bold. It's weird, dude. 
But it is one of those movies that great movies get that reaction if you don't like them. I could imagine it. Just saying in general. I got nothing. I would, yeah, I would find it hard to, I don't know how you got back to it. Like, what made you want to give it a second chance? I don't eat, that's what I don't, I was thinking about, because I I looked up, as I mentioned before we started, I looked up um, rollingstone.com, I think, some shit like that. Top 500 movies of all time, that was on there. So that reminded me of seeing it and hating it and everything I just said. So I don't know why I gave it another chance. And now, you know, whenever it's on, I'm like, oh, I'll watch a few minutes or, you know, the scene with, um, the redhead Eric, what's his name? Where they fucking yes. stab him in the yeah. stab her in the chest. Eric the, Stoltz. Thank you. You're fuck, welcome. He's great. Sir. I love that guy. I love that. He's a fucking he's creepy great, weirdo guy. He's but really... he's been took went from the late eighties, mid late eighties, right into this disappeared and then some came kind back. of wonderful dude. Some kind of wonderful. That should be on my fucking Boom. list. That is a great movie. I I watched that again uh, like in the last three four months. That's I know your next pick. I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to write it down. You should cuz it's not thing. in my 15, but go ahead. I'm gonna, so are we done with that? Uh we are done with that and I, let me, let me just do this really so quickly. Kind of wonderful. That's fantastic. I love that. Yes. Movie. Okay, go ahead and put it down and I have finished typing your next pick. You have? Yes. It's not my next pick. No, I know what it is. You know my next I'm, pick? I've written it down. You I'm know guessing. My, I'm you guessing. know my number 6? I don't. I'm guessing it. Would you please tell me what you think my guess is? I I wrote it down. I'm going to turn it around. I wrote it on this. Tell me what my, tell me. It's right. Uh, Breakfast Club? Breakfast Club. Absolutely not. Damn it. Is it in your top 10? Please tell me it's in your top 10. No. God damn it. Fuck. It's not even on my list. I was so close. I've seen it so many times. I don't you need just, to. You don't need to see it. I don't need to see it anymore. It I get you. Damn it. And it was in my top like it's 22 okay. and I removed it because I've seen it so much. I get it. So I, I, get can, it. I a, can watch it whenever I want. Yeah. It's American pie effect. You, why listen to Don McLean's American Demented, pie? You've but, heard it and a million sad, but more. social. You know yeah. What I mean? I'm with you, man. Does Barry Manilow know your rating is wardrobe? <laughs> yeah, right. So, no. So. So. Okay. Number six number for six you. Number six is American beauty. American beauty. That's a great one. What? American beauty. Yep. Holy fuck balls. I can't believe, first of all, I can't believe you picked a KS movie. And that... I don't care. I mean... I know. I know. You God know what? It. It, and I, it really bothers me that, that there's all these men that are accused of, of these horrible things that they've done across decades to, to all these people. That sucks. And they're so talented, you know? It's... It, you know, when you look at movies like Seven and Usual Suspects and, you know, it so sucks. Long. But st- American Beauty is a great movie, d- despite the things that, and I was he even, did he even admit it or was he even proven he guilty? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Well, that, well, we're not here to throw anyone. We're no, not a witch hunt, so let's not even talk about it. Let's just talk about, you talking Beauty, about his, the movie as a whole. First of all, he's in the movie. He's not the movie. He's in he's it. He's the main character. Right, but he's well, in it. Annette okay, Benning. great. But he's in it. He's not... It's not cast away, my friends. No, correct. Off. Yeah. Okay. And there's anyway, a bunch let's... of characters. Right. There's a bunch and, of characters. And the I mean, story. The daughter I thought was very good. Um Mina Servino? I think so. Oh, I, and the the the, 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 the son next door who's rebelling yeah. against the, the Colonel Marine Corps guy yeah. who That's, turns out to be that gay. Doesn't hit close to home, does it? Uh, no, like, not at all. No, no, no. Um Annette Betting is fantastic. The gay neighbors are great. The story's great. You know, the fact, I, I I like the fact that the main character has like an awakening where he, I love that. I love, I, I guess because I'm honestly, I wish I could do that. I wish I could not give a fuck like he does when yeah, he walks epiphany, away yeah. and he starts working at like the little chicken place on the corner. Right. And he, I, that's like. It's so liberating, yeah. and I love that. Yeah, yeah, it's simple. It's simplified his life. I, I, it's a great movie. And I, it won the best, you know, it won the best Academy Award, and I think Annette Bening won the best actress. Um, but everything about that movie, I love. <laughs> it's a good movie. I, I, I look at it like I don't know if I could watch that over and over again. I, I understood. It does not take away from the quality of the message and everything. But it's just one of the. That's where it has nothing to do with poo pooing on it. Poo poo. It's a good. Oh. I did not. I if I were to have a Kevin Spacey on here, 
he might creep back in because Usual Suspects is like the best movie ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's it no is. That it's was, like literally number one. Yeah, that was hard to yeah, leave off there. the list. That's tough. So your six is American Beauty. I am, Beauty. sir. Six is American Beauty. Damn, that's so fucking good. All right. Um, fuck. The Dark Knight, seven. I, I need a Batman. I, I, I need a, I need, okay, I need a superhero because I have none. I went through Superman. Doesn't move the needle. Okay. Wonder Woman. What about no, thank you. Aquaman? I was going to, I was going <laughs> to say it and then just redact ah! it, but just to watch your reaction. You're like, just kidding. Um, look, I like Jason Momoa and I like Stargate He's Atlantis. He's a sexy motherfucker. And I like Stargate Atlantis in which he is good. In which? But start, but uh, Aquaman from Atlantis. No. Thank you. I'm good. Um, so I went through all these other things, and then I went Hulk. There's like 18 Hulks. Okay, no. But Dude, they're Hulk not bad. 14 was really right. good. Then I went like Avengers. I'm like, is Avengers really that? It's visually the most stunning shit, but it's not as as good as the character layouts are. It's not deep. Like The Dark first Knight, Avengers was good. Right. They're all, even just watching the interaction between the actors is great. Watching them schmooze. Thor Ragnarok, for example, great. It's an underrated it movie. It's campy. It was, but when like the interaction between Ruffalo and Hen, like Hen Hendrick Hen Thor Hem, Hemson Hemsworth, yes, that guy Thor, yeah, Thor, that guy, <laughs> and it's great. And fucking Jeff Goldblum makes it. Oh, he was really fucking, good, dude. Um, what do we have here? A water gun, yeah, fucking <laughs> Jurassic Park. He was that. fantastic. He was. He was really good in that. I love apartments. I love <laughs> No, yeah, I stole thunder. your thunder. I'm so sorry. No, that's okay. <laughs> He's so hey, great. Jews are we going to talk about in this podcast? God damn it. All, right. All of them. So number seven, once again, Go. the Dark Knight. Um, you can't uh, fucking, right before, well, the death of fucking Heath Ledger coming off all great movies that he's already been in. And that movie is fucking harsh. Eckhart's great in it. Maggie Gyllenhaal dies. Thank God. I fucking hate her. Okay, oh, sorry. Was that out loud? That's a little brutal. Okay. Is, okay, wait. I have to ask you a question. Is she as bad as the jerk from Aliens? Paul Reiser? Yeah. Well, what they should do is do a movie together. And then blow it up? Where should he, they nuke the site from he's orbit? Her just daddy, to be sure? And then they should just, yeah. Oh, totally. Okay. Just to be sure. Okay. The only, the only way to be sure. Nuke it from orbit. The only way to be sure. Yep. Um. Yeah, seventeen days. He wouldn't last seventeen hours. She wouldn't last. They're gonna come hours. in here, man. They're gonna get us. <laughs> um. So, <laughs> sorry, Maggie Gyllenhaal, if I offended Dude, you, that's but I'm, up. I'm not a fan of her. She's supposed she to be really the sex pot. First of she's all, not we've, ugly. we've talked about it. She's not attractive. We've talked about it. She's got droopy eyes. First of all, like how droopy? She's got Jim Brewer eyes. She <laughs> does. Just well, I'm sorry to ruin it for you, but watch it again. But secondly. I'm upset. I'm more upset that they couldn't lock down Katie Holmes to keep congruity. Was that when she was married to Tom Cruise? It may have been. So did he not allow it because of the Scientology? I don't remember because she did the first one and I think they were married during that. So I don't know what that, what caused that or whatever. My point is for that kind of money that you're putting in, you can't create a new character that you kill off. Don't fucking replace them. They are they, that's ridiculous. You don't see Aaron Eckhart come back. If Two Face made it to another movie, it wasn't going to be fucking Ben Affleck. Thank God. Well, thank God. He shouldn't be in any Batman movies, and he was Batman. It's so sad. I, I'm going to digress. Um, but basically, Heath Ledger and fucking Christian Bale. Pretty I'm fucking sorry, stellar, um, bro. I'm really. I have to interrupt you, dude. We've been going for an hour, and you've not said real quick one time. I'm You're like, welcome. I, I, I'm, I, I don't know what to, I, my brain's going to explode. There's universes imploding upon multiverses right fucking now. Real quick. Hashtag. You have no idea how hard that is to not do. Dude, like, you got to say it like I'm four like times. Sitting go. on my hands. No, bro. We're good. Real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Real quick. We're good. We've, say it. Do we've it. Had say it. Do it now. Real quick though. Yes. Twitter world. There is no day and only zoo. So number seven. Yes. El Darko Nido. <laughs> and uh, so basically to sum up, Soy Batman. Yeesh. I needed a bat I needed a superhero one. I even went to the Keaton ones and I'm I love first and second. I like them. 
per the penguin look, conversation. I can watch fucking yeah. I can watch Heath Ledger do watch watch this pencil disappear. Yeah, he was great. Dude. Fucking I'm supposed to shoot the bus driver. Like, oh fuck, he's cre- I'm creeping the fuck out like from beyond the grapes. I'm totally look, I got goosebumps just like that creeping. He harnessed pure evil and just insanity. craziness insanity like that's i don't know if that's how the brain works inside when you're not right but he did a really good job so that's my seven what about you sir smoking the bandit oh man what a that's a, just a smile on my face and i i would never have that on my list but it puts a smile on my face I remember seeing that in syndication on TV all the fucking time on weekends. Eastbound down, 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 trucking. Loaded up and trucking. Yeah, bro. We're doing things we can't be done. Jackie Gleason. <laughs> One of these days, probably, but I know. <laughs> it's just great. The yeah. Trans Am, the truck. The, hold on to your ass, Fred. The dog's name is Fred. The Dukes of Hazard had to have been thought up it could have been just because like you got boss hog it's just and coo, coo, coo. sorry <sighs> yes I, absolutely i'm backing it up i'm back roscoe pico train let's talk about the bandit yeah smoking i mean just a texas county mountain i mean that shit's hilarious dude and 10 100 have, holy fuck you have two sally field movies i i'm so sorry what the fuck is wrong she's with my you, favorite bro? dude i love her bro she she's kind of cute <laughs> The Flying Nun. Oh, dear. Reach Blanket Bingo. And she wasn't Not at all. Bingo. But, uh, I mean, the Trans Am is, um, is just, is just, I mean, that's my dream car, right? I love the T-top. Those big fat tires in the back. Ugh. You know? The black car with the gold The convoy at the end. Yeah, the gold, the gold oh, eagle. Oh, yeah, out. dude. I mean, that. It's so cheesy. It's and there's so, so many good lines. 10-100, better than a 10-200. <laughs> Give me a whatever sandwich and a Dr. Pepper. And then he walks out with a TP stuck to him. Dude, I mean, there's so many good one-liners and so many good scenes. Oh, my God. But, Daddy, there's a football game really going white. on. I mean, there's just... I'm sorry, what'd you say? I just realized my forehead's really white in the video. <laughs> like, extremely white. Do we need to dim the... Do you want to wear a hat? No, I'm good. Thanks, bro. Oh, okay. Smoking the... But I appreciate it. I'm grateful. Smoking the Bandit, though, is a really good choice because it's one of those ones, when you talk about it, you can just watch over and over again. It's just awesome. It's yeah. funny. It's stupid. You know? It's The sun's so dumb. And the way the car looks at... The way the police car looks at the end of the movie with no doors and no roof and the wheels all wobbly. It's just hysterical, man. It's so <laughs> dumb. It's just, love it. We've got three left. We do. Fuck. This is where brass tacks my this is at, at this point, I may, I may get my top ten. Wow. I'm going to smash it right now. You're not. You v don't... for Vendetta. Just it's watched... not even on there, bro? Nope. I just watched it again last week. God damn, I love that movie. I'm putting it. Uh, it's my number We eight. may go to top. We may go just rattle off the top 15 because. Okay, well, let's do it. Let's If we can. I, l- okay. I just watched it again. Go, I'm sorry. I'm, no, go. No, watch you. it again. I watched it again, and oh. I only saw it one or two times, you know, the first year it came out, and it's amazing how much it rings true to the past, you know, I'm sorry, to 2019 and 2020, about the quarantine zone and the... the um, Control. Curfews and the masks mm-hmm. and the government control control is absolutely right dude and the spreading of fear and if you watch the news carefully what's really true do you really believe every single word on the news do you question any of it all of it some of it or none of it i mean that's everyone every single person is allowed to do any of those things i mean that's free speech free thought etc but it if in my opinion it can be taken away it's been taken away in other places correct i mean the patriot act did take away some of your rights and mm-hmm. the requ- asking you to wear a mask is unconstitutional a curfew is unconstitutional 
look that up. I'm not totally full of shit. So right. that's, I mean, I don't want to use the word martial law. I don't know how else to say it, but martial law specifically like the siege. You ever see that movie, the siege where they bring in like, are like Troops. we're talking military people. Yeah. That's technically martial law is where we are now taking our external forces and using them internally to keep the peace, the peace in some way. Yeah. It's, it's ugly. Um, yeah, it's ugly. It, it's interesting. It is interesting in that way. I agree with you. Like, you know me, I'm a constitutionalist. Like I, those freedoms, oh my God, we are so lucky to be born here. We're so lucky to live here. People, use the rights that they're given to shit on everything else to destroy the one thing that's like giving them the ability to say what they say. Like, why would you do that? You're, you're attacking the, th you're using your free speech to attack people being able to speak freely. Um, it's disgusting. It's that it's, sounds horrible people. Yeah. And regardless of all that, but being from a country telling you, right. And, and once again, filtering the news to what you see, we know that's going on. We've already talked about it ad nauseum. Um, the only downside is like, I find it just highly entertaining. I don't like, I don't like resorting to violence to fix that because I, we still have certain rights, at least in this country, I can't speak for Britain and obviously it's a fictional time. It's whatever. So I have a really hard time with violence because I agree. I, I just don't know how I feel about it until brought, I was never put in that position where violence, this has been needed. Right. Well, I've walked peacefully in marches because I support the right to walk in marches I to peacefully assemble. I've used my free speech violently, not violently to promote violence, but like very aggressively and assertively to say, fuck you or whatever, you know, to, to a problem that I have. But I have never gotten to violence over it. So that's where it's hard. But the movie on its own is highly entertaining. Natalie Portman in that little dress. And I just done, bro. Done dot com. When she says, um, I don't know who she's talking to, but when she's, she's commenting about a newscast that a female reporter is saying, and she's, Natalie Portman says, she's lying. Well, how do you know? She's blinking her eyes too quickly. She does that when she's lying. <laughs> and I was like, holy shit. So <laughs> it's scary. Yeah, damn, man. So there we are. V for Vendetta, number eight. Great Ocho? choice, man. Great choice. Ocho? Thanks, man. But it's not even on your list, so it makes me sad. Well, because it because I'd like to think that we have a lot of cross pollination here, but we don't. So, <laughs> number eight, sir. What are, what are we looking at? Gladiator. Yeah. Kudos. I I like period pieces. Thank you. I like uh, Russell Crowe's. He's okay. I'm not a big fan, um, but I love period pieces. I'm I'm fascinated by ancient Rome, ancient Egypt. Ancient Greece. I love ancient cultures. Um, the Colosseum, I think, is amazing. Um, those times, I, I'm very interested in history. The the logistics of those, of how the stupid stuff, like, how did the aqueducts work? How did, you know, I think it's horrible that they had slaves and the slaves got killed, and I think that sucks. That's Rome was a, Rome was interesting. They yeah, were, you know. it's it's very interesting to me. And I, I the opening scene where he's the general, and they're in like Germany, I think Germania. Yeah, yeah, yeah all the berserkers and whatnot, all the Germans. So that tribes. was I love that scene where he's just he's a field general and he just wants to go home and he's in it. Yeah, it's not like he's, he's just standing back, no, like going. Go to work. He's killing people, and yeah. he's a he's a slaughtering field general, and he just wants to go home, and that's all he asks of the Caesar, yeah. the emperor. I just want to go home. Wants to serve to go home. It's right. like he wants to serve his time and go home, and then crazy shit that happens to him. Whew. Right, and I, I like to me it's a good story because it's he has everything, and that's taken from him, and then he wants his family killed. Spoiler. And oh, sorry, sorry. What really did sorry. you just give away the plot? Of so the sorry, El Gladiator. Lo siento. Please forgive me. So I like the story and how he, how this, he becomes a slave and he rises from that. I like that. I like the underdog story. I'm sorry. I'm a sucker for that. I, you know what? I'm not sorry. I am a sucker for that shit. So I, I love, I love the scene where he takes his mask off and he confronts the emperor who's right. a piece of shit. Of yeah. course he's a piece of shit. He and and played by what's his name? The guy Joaquin River man. Phoenix. No, 
his brother, Joaquin. Joaquin. Who <laughs> Joaquin. Was, who was Joker? Who was Joker? The seen most that recent yet. Joker. Yes. Sir. Fuck. He taps. He taps in. I think he just. I have not seen that. I, I've been wanting to see that since I, the day I it was it announced. For you. I have it for you, sir. Like, I know. I keep forgetting. I love you. No, I got it. It's just. Oh, that. Yeah. So anyway, I, I, uh, Gladiators. I've seen. I bought it. I have. I mean, I've seen it thirty times or some shit. But I, uh, yeah, yeah, I watch it. It's. Fa- I love it. Visually. Oh yeah. Stunning. Yeah. Absolutely. A beautiful piece of cinematography. I probably will go home and watch that tonight. It's gorgeous. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's Again. a beautiful one. And that's not even near my list, but I it's funny cuz like that's damn, that's another good one that wasn't Fuck, we're down to 2. Yes, sir. Shit. Poop. All right. Let's see you, if you're going to do any steals here, big you man. You took you took a Tom Hanks-er. Uh, yeah. I'm going to take a Tom Hanks-er. I'm going to go big. Oh, good choice. It's just entertaining. I get to I be on top. It. Yeah, <laughs> Elizabeth Shue is it? No, no, no the other one. She's, she's a weird thing. Yeah, yeah she I didn't get to go very top. far. Um, damn it! I just love that movie. Yeah, it's great. I, I don't, it's really I don't know another way. The what? piano thing, yes, and the whole fuck, all of it, all of it's great. Yeah, it's great. There's I, I don't so know many good one. scenes. Yeah. And look, I, I did, I did go through this. I was like, I need to see Tom Hanks on on the island and guess what i'm not watching castaway that'll just remind me too much of the where i'm at <laughs> so i went yeah what tom uh, hanks movie am i gonna put on there but castaway did it is a hope there's a when castaway's get, an amazing movie but there is hope at the end yeah you know there is yeah absolutely and it's amazing with helen hunt at the end that's that's some great scenes you know it's, it's a, sad no but, castaway is a beautiful movie that right. is not what it's about but it was like it was more like uh, yeah you can't be on an island watch and watch tank. castaway right, right. like so when you're in an airport don't watch airport 77 <laughs> <Exactly. You> fuck <laughs> or airplane well airplane, <gasps> that, holy fuck i know that was on the god list. damn it that was on the list of top 500 dude oh shit top five of course top 500 but it's so stupid it how could, could be it be 11. on the list i didn't get it Wesley like, Nielsen, bro it's funny as fuck go, like, what does he say he goes striker 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 or like, get a hold of her, man. Here, I'll help. Get a hold of her, man. <laughs> or I be jive slam jing. Hang the on, jing I speak jing. jive. Yeah. But when the Hello. nun comes up. And it's fucking, it's, it's Mrs. fucking Beaver. It is? Mrs. Beaver's the one who says, I oh, speak jive. She's it like, is. Excuse me, stewardess. It is. I speak jive. It is. I thought it was, it was fucking the nun. Barbara I thought goddamn it was the nun. Cleaver Beaver? Cle- Beaver Cleaver. Cleaver. I, I like Cleaver. the bald guy yeah, who's right. the air traffic controller. The, who kind of yes. acts? It, yeah, he, he goes. It's a brooch. Oh, or yeah. He's like, what do you make of this report? What can you make of this report? I can make a hat. <laughs> or I can a make a bird. A brooch. <laughs> <laughs> and Leon's getting larger. <laughs> yeah, that should that's oh, honorable God, mention. Fucking beautiful. That is a be- okay. When the when, when the f- opening scene. When the there's no loading in the wide or unloading, and they start the two announcers start arguing. <laughs> well, look if you didn't pick up the groceries. Or some, I, don't <laughs> I know. know like, I have like, no idea what they no, were arguing about. Nancy, there's no loading or unloading in the white zone. There is. Lo- <laughs> Get your hat out of your ass, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> and the Harry Krishnas, and oh, one yeah. of them's the guy from fucking Empty Nest, the neighbor on Empty yes, Nest, yes. Joe Isuzu. Joe Isuzu. It was Joe what Isuzu. The fuck is his fucking name? I can't remember. Oh my god, it's so bad. Okay, I have no idea how he. Didn't make Who that cares? list, and that we talked about air fucking plane. So you much. were on number nine. That was my number nine, sir. Was what? Big, big, good choice. Thanks, man. I well, look, it was Forrest Gump or Big. I mean, that's where that's where it really comes down to, right? I I need one. Those were my two of of those choices. You wouldn't go. Well, Philadelphia is sad. Philadelphia is sad. Uh, Cloud, Cloud Atlas is confusing. I loved it. And though. I love, it I love so it. Deep and amazing. I think I need to watch it for understanding more before I can really the book, like dude, it. Dude, holy! Oh, is never it mind. Fucked up. No, go ahead. <sighs> Audible dot com slash checkmark. I I for to listening. <laughs> you for to listening. I'm for to listening for, for Cloud part. Atlas. It's amazing. I like the audiobook, please. Yes, of course. Halle Berry is so hot in the audiobook. Very, I like tattoos on face and book. Very curvy and very nice to you. I rub face. I I sleep on it and I get the writing on yes. my face like he, she does in, I in know. on his yes. tattoo face. Like osmosis, but different. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Like this. Yeah. Uh yeah, so there we go. Um <laughs> that was that was uh Cloud Atlas brought to you by Christopher. <laughs> Check Greece. And it's so good. It is a good movie. I just needed something entertaining. I could watch I could watch big pretty much 
once a day. He'll probably be on a loop and not like number nine, sir. Sixteen candles. <gasps> you fuck. You went sixteen over breakfast. I get why, but go. Why did I pick sixteen candles? No more Yankee my winky. The donger need food. Automobile. Not the lake. Rain really? lake. Automobile. <laughs> because there's when he God, oily you know, bohunk. Because there's so many good lines. What's happening, hot stuff? What's happening? Hot you stuff? sold your panties to a freshman for a dollar. There's so many good lines, dude. There's so many good scenes. I didn't think they said panties. Didn't they say underwear? Yeah, underwear, like, probably. Weird. Yeah, I know, but like, I, I know. what's even funnier? Because like, I don't even think I think panties were like taboo to say back then. I believe you're right. It was he PG sold underwear. Yeah, so. Oh. Yeah, there's so many good lines. There's so many good scenes. The grandparents moving. Yes. Like, staying she over. grabbed my grandmother, grabbed my boobies. You know what I mean? Oh, she's got boobies. You're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. The, it, to the, me, it's. The, the sister on the fucking, on the muscle relaxants. <laughs> oh, oh, dude. <laughs> Somebody it's started their falling. period. <laughs> <laughs> to me, That's it's. Great. That's a great as, as quintessential as Breakfast Club is to the 80s. 16 Candles, I think, is, is is just as. It is. It's 101A. And Breakfast Club, to me, was overplayed, and 16 Candles was was less. So that's why I picked it, is because it's Anthony Michael Hall and, you know, Molly Ringwald. It's a great movie. The father is also in Aliens. Holy shit, you've got a theme, bro. The father was in Harry Denton. He's the fucking captain. Oh, an alien. He's in the first alien. He's the captain. Harry Denton? Harry... Harry Okay, the guy who's the captain in the in Alien is the father who's out of work in Pretty in Pink. Harry Stanton? Pretty in Pink, not 16 Candles. Oh, fuck! That's why I'm like, dude, God you- damn it, don't... No, yes. Ah, give me another yes. shot, motherfucker. <laughs> fuck this. I'm out. God damn it. Yeah, Here. I didn't care for Pretty in Pink. Sorry, I fucked up, everybody. God damn, dude. God damn it. Which one did you choose now? 16 candles, you dipshit. Okay, I'm look, I'm dip full, all right? Uh, all right, so 16 candles is so much a better movie, too. Pretty and Pink. I don't know. I get those mixed up all the time. Because they're both Molly Ringwald. Oh, well, you see, he's a red Michael Hall. No, Ducky's in the other one. See, that's the thing. I think Pretty and Pink's probably... That would be mine. I'm, look... They're like right there. How can you not? Well, I didn't care for Pretty Pink. I've only seen it probably twice. I like the Donga because Donga because pray- it's got fucking Donger. He's in Gung Ho, dude. Yeah, dude. The opening. What a great movie. The opening scene when they go, or the, not the opening scene, but towards the beginning. Right, in the beginning. When when, when the mom says dong. "Long Duck Dong" and they go <laughs> "Bong." Every time they see the name, they do the gong. So fucking racist. Dude, it's so, so funny. It is, but it it's is hilarious. Funny. It is. Man. I don't. Long it, Duck Dong. Funny's funny, man. <laughs> Wrong a duck don't automobile. God, it's fuck. fucking in the tree. Like when she's riding the fucking exercise bike. Oh my, oh my god, that is a great movie. And it really that is a great movie. Oh fuck, so many movies that fill this spot. All right, what do you got, man? Where are you at? What number, are, is what this are, number ten right coming up here, sir? Yeah. So one. Okay. So I'm gonna go through the numbers. Can I, the Matrix at number one? Uh, did you have that in your list at all, no, sir? Motherfucker, Goodfellas. No. no. Fight Club. No. Terminator 2? No. Animal House? Yes. Not in your top 10, though. 14. Yeah, it's only in a film if I stole it. Um, a- Animal House? Pulp Fiction? No. Dark Knight? No. V for Vendetta? No. And Big? No. So many good ones are right here. And I am stuck between a Star Wars movie and a Kevin Smith movie, of all things. That's not ironic at all. Is that weird? Because they did Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, and it's not that one that I would do. I, if it were Kevin Smith, I'd choose Dogma. But I don't have a Star Wars. God damn. I have watched Star Wars enough. I'm going Dogma. I'm just fucking doing it. Does it does it deserve one of these, sir? No, not that not that one. Yeah, dog. No, I think uh, dog was a great choice. I don't think dogma. it deserves a trombone at all. I had clerks on here too, but you know, dogma is just a 
it's the best of his writing. It's funny as I fuck. I think Mall Rats it's is better shits. than Clerks. Yeah, I do. I agree. And dude, what's the one that Amy Jason, chasing Amy? Chasing I think it's great too. That little lesbian is so hot. But yeah, she's cute. Jo- Joey Lauren, whatever. They sure. Dated for a while. She was in um blah 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 with what's his name with blah blah blah. Yeah, big, I totally not big da- big daddy. Yeah, she was the yeah, lawyer. Yeah, she was the lawyer. She was yeah, she was the girlfriend. Wasn't yeah. She? Yes, absolutely. All right, sir. So I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to throw, uh, obviously, Dogma is just so well written. Oh, yeah. It shits it's on the great, Catholic dude. Church. It's funny as fuck. I love the interaction between Affleck and, and Damon. I'm yes. not an Affleck fan. Well, the fact that they're Damon, angels is awesome. Damon's great. When yeah. he fucking goes when they have guns and, and shit? he fucking sneezes in the fucking uh, conference room and then he fucking just unloads on everybody and leaves. Yes. You're great. getting off lucky. And he comes back and you didn't say bless you. <laughs> What do you think about you, Alanis Morissette as God? I love Alanis Morissette as God. She's just... Is it, is it ironic? Boop. Nothing that she does is ironic, bro. We, we've we talked about this. I had to times. say it. Come on, know, man. Bro. But like... And Alan Rickman. Fucking you got, yeah, uh, yeah, I on. agree, dude. Look, but we don't have Die Hard in here, so I might as well fucking have oh, Alan Rickman in some way. I know, it sucks, I thought right? it was on the top five. But it's like a Christmas movie. It's more of a Christmas movie. Top ten Christmas. Movie. I think we should do it. T- Just it because is. that's dumb. It's not it's during Christmas, Christmas time. I know. Well, dude, wrap your feet up in balls and fucking walk in the carpet, bro. Oh, sorry, I didn't touch your. Put camera. your feet in your own camera, you sicko. Okay, I, I, I don't think. Dude, I can. stop it! Ugh, stop okay, it! Cool. You dork. Um. So. Matrix, Goodfellas, Fight Club, Terminator 2, Animal House, Pulp Friction, Dark Knight, V for Vanilla, Big, and Dogma. I'm. S- We're going to talk about some honorable mention after this, I'm sure. So, please, sir. And hold on. I don't have that. You have a drum roll? I don't have it, but I'm going to do it. My top nine before I reveal my tenth? Yes, sir. One, Aliens. Two, Forrest Gump. Three, Star Wars. Episode four, A New Hope. Four, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Five, The Amazing Shawshank Redemption. Six, Beauty, I'm sorry, American Beauty. Seven, Smoking the Bandit. Eight, Gladiator. Nine, 16 Candles. And number 10. Please. Top Gun. I don't like Tom Cruise, but. I like F-14s. I almost had Tom Cruise movie in here because I felt like he's done enough good movies. Which one? All of them, bro. Mission Impossible 7? Probably one. It was good. It was just different. It was good. What about that shitty one I just watched? Vanilla (laughs) shit. You fucking asshole. Vanilla swirl? Fuck. Uh, yeah. That shitty one where he was frozen the whole- Did you watch fucking Magnolia? Because I still haven't. I don't even know what that is, It's the one with rained frogs, bro. I'm, if it's raining frogs, I'm definitely not watching That's it. That's exactly why I haven't watched it yet. Let's never talk about it again. Fucking Top Gun. How, yeah, how Top Gun's not, awesome. You went to a... Uh, we haven't talked about it. So you've gone to somewhere where aviation was prevalent. Well, I was in junior ROTC. My dad built airplanes for 40 years. Right. I, You know, one of my best friends was in the Air Force for 22 years. I should have I should have probably went in the Navy. So, you know, hindsight being 2020. I don't think you'd want to catch, bro. In the Navy. You'd be with a bunch of seamen. I, don't I love like long, that. hard things that carry seamen, oh. also known as submarines. Oh, damn it. <laughs> They're all long and hard, bro. Whoa, way now. One's like a John's Hole motherfucker, and one's like a, you know, me. A dinghy. <laughs> it's the dinghy. Ill I regardless, gotta, I, I like would... airplanes, and I like the ocean, and I like... Uh, Goose. I love Goose. Anthony Edwards. You like him in AR, I'm sure. Yeah. And uh, like Wolfman and Maverick and fucking. I went this way. And he went that way. He went that way. Who I said he? Where'd he go? Where'd who go? Fuck yes, Hollywood. That's fucking beautiful. Uh, I, that was a great movie. Yeah. So. Just, and if I may expound upon that, please. It's so good that every movie that Tom Cruise has done since. Yeah. Is the Top Gun of the genre of it is. So when Days of Thunder is, came is. out, it was Top Gun of Cars. Yes. And when Mission Impossible came out, it was a Top Gun of Spies. Yes. And when it was Vanilla Sky, it was a Top Gun of Shitty Movies. <laughs> <laughs> it was the Top Gun of Frozen People. <gasps> oh, shit. Uh, but It was but the I Top digress. Gun but, of Penelope Boob Movies. But like, Oblivion was really good. I could watch yes, that one a million it was. times. God damn it. I know. Like, but I'm just saying, like, 
because I did. The I same get Oblivion thing. and the other one confused. A, fuck Minority Report. Oblivion. Oh, I, love, I like Minority Report. It was still Report, good. Was ah, fuck that guy. The precox, bro. Um, I'm all about precox. Me, 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 me. There's Oblivion, and that's the one where he's like the mechanic, and he flies down from the thing, right? Yes. And there's the other one where he relives the same day every yeah, day. Yeah, that's uh, the end of tomorrow. Yeah, I get those. The confused. edge of tomorrow. I, what fuck? Whatever yeah. of tomorrow. That one. Yes, they I were, like, but both they're of market those. different. They're markedly different. But yeah, yes, they're, they're very both. different. But I get the names confused. But I like both of them. I find Oblivion better, and I only say this because there's reveals in Oblivion that are that the other one's straightforward. It's get time you know don't get killed relive the same day because you you're in the you're trying to learn something and right save but you're the in planet. the right but you're but you're, you're like in that weird fourth time field loop. of the time thing you're right because the thing gets shot by you or whatever you relive it over and over again right but you already know what you have to do and it is cool that once you get outside the war zone because at that point he dies it's over he doesn't relive it because he's not in that area of where they where can regenerate or whatever, right, the fuck whatever it's the called. reliving thing. And it's an awesome movie. It really is cool. But oblivion was so cool with the reveal. Like where well, you thought uh, they were on your side, but they weren't, and there's clones and this and that, and they're different. They're same couple, but they're different people. Yeah. It, it's, it's really good. Deeper. Yeah. And Morgan Freeman's in it. <laughs> when he realized is then that he realized there were spaceships in the air. And then I had to get them down. Not bad. Excessively better is than checks. Than my Dreyfus? My Richard Dreyfus. Dreyfus. Hello. Ho, hello, Morgan Freeland. How are you doing? I'm well, Richard Dreyfus. <laughs> then that I realized Richard Dreyfus is standing before me. All right. So that was fucking awesome. Um, honorable mention? Give me one. Well, I have four or five. Do you Beautiful. want to just burn I, through them? Yeah, go I've ahead. got you one, go. two, three, four, five. I have six in here. I don't know how I got to 20 because I just removed Because you're psycho. Number 11, I had a slap shot. Excellent. Because you're a hockey guy? Hockey guy. It, I watch it before the beginning of every season just to watch it. Yeah, that's a cool It's tradition. cool. It's cool. Like yeah, that. it's one of those things you can watch over again. 12, Top Gun. Boom. 12? There you go. Oh. Number 12. On my list. I'm just saying I after thought that. 12 was a movie. <laughs> it's after. It's five more I'm than not seven. smart. It's five more than seven, bro. Whoa. I get There's 12 monkeys. God damn it. Fuck Bruce Willis and Brad Pitt. Such I love that movie. Hostility no, I, and that's a, that's a Philly movie, too. They're in the zoo trying to get rid of monkeys while they're going back in time and getting lines out of there with some insects and eating macaroni and gravy at the same time. At right? whom? At whom? Where? Uh, was there any this, phones? This next one. There was, there was always phones, bro. Just checking. Um... I'm gonna skip this one, this next one, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to it. But Star Trek, the one with Chris Pine, Chris the, new, the, the first, yeah, Chris Pine Star Trek, rewrote Star Trek, highly entertaining. I thought about that one too. Love the guy from Heroes, Spock character from Heroes. You mean Spock? Love Chris Pine. <laughs> love love Lottie. Love Scott. The guy. Oh, the guy hell yeah, dude. And guess who's in it? Check marks. Rival. Nuclear whistle. The attendant. Evacuation. Check off. Fucking bro. Victor. Wichter Seven. Wichter Wichter Seven. Evacuation, Captain. He did that one too, and then evacuation complete. And it's like, dee, 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 and then fucking whatever. And then he got run over by his own car, and he that's died. Did you know that? Yes. Okay. That really was sad, but that's on there. Okay. Ocean's Eleven. Totally watchable over and over again. <laughs> the Hangover. And then, it's the one I threw in was Death Race Two Thousand. Um, it's good. Beer Google it. Yeah, of course. Well, when you when you see parts where cars are driving and you see the antenna of the remote control, <laughs> it's it's so worth it. It has Stallone in it. It has Ka David Carradine in it, Ugh. and they're awful and a little booby and a lot of death. You know what would have been better if yes. Steven Seagal was in it? He's <laughs> pool ball in the fucking towel and shit. Ah, uh, uh. Was that scene in it, one of those roadhouse? Oh he, no! Totally. If he was <gasps> fucking oh god, this was the worst podcast ever, dude. Roadhouse would have been really cool. I know. That's what I mean. I'm upset that so many are not on. Please, honorable mention, sir, so we can shut this fucking shit show down. These ones were very difficult for me not to put in my top ten. Very difficult. Empire Records. Interesting and very I good. I love that movie. Good movie. I don't feel I need to explain my art to you, Warren. <laughs> Why do you keep calling me fucking Warren? 
when he glues the quarters <laughs> to the carpet. And I know it's obscure, oh, but it's, no. I mean, it's Liv Tyler's, one of her first movies. Renee Zellweger, one of her first movies. What? I was just saying, isn't this about like what you can watch over and over again? This, uh, these are the movies you can take with you and watch without getting bored of them. The, one of, after I saw it for the first time in like, this came out probably in the late 90s. So I saw it for the first time probably 2006. That Monday morning after I saw it, I glued fucking four quarters to the carpet behind the chair of one of my buddies at work. So every time he backed up or moved his chair at work, he goes, man, why'd you go quarters to the carpet? I don't have to explain my art to you, Rob. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I did. Oh, man. I don't give a shit. I love when a movie influences an actual an action in the real world. Well, I don't, because I do stupid shit like That's that. That's just so Cause like, fucking you know, hilarious. <laughs> but there's a bunch of, you know, the, the Rex Manning day shit. There's a yeah. bunch of it's fucking. A, it's, a, it's a good movie. It's yeah, a solid I, movie. I, I bought it. I love that movie. It's like in that reality bites. Like, yes, frame, it's very late 90s weird, grungy. But, but you know good. what I mean? Like, but good. Yeah, it's really funny. Really good. Um, Next was Ready Player One. Just came out last year. Highly entertaining. Yeah. What a great movie. Yeah. Uh, all the 80s themes takes place in 2045. And it basically, in the majority of it is in a virtual world. So I, I there's so many 80s references, but it's I, it's a very... I like it because the story's great. But the 80s references is amazing as Donkey well. Donkey Kong, Pac-Man. I Love watched it, it again for like the fifth or sixth time Friday. And I saw two things that I had never seen before. I saw the A-Team van. I was like, oh, shut the fuck up, the A-Team van. Was it when they were all attacking together? No. It was when the, 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 race, race. the race scene. Yes. And okay, I what... saw on the girl's motorcycle, she's got a Hello Kitty sticker. Never saw that before. Hello Kitty. I was like, hello. That's a great movie. Next. Just, uh, yeah. Visually stunning. Yeah, absolutely. Totally harkens back to our time. Oh, yeah. There's so many 80s references. Right, because the guy basically wrote it like, a fanboy of him growing up, like, and the book's tried. phenomenal. I read the. I've it's heard only, the book is even. It's better. only three hundred pages. I read it in a weekend. So I, I heard the book is way more descriptive. It's uh, yeah, descriptive and if there's differences. You know, obviously, um, I I read the book, and there's a, a whole chapter about him playing Joust, the video game, <laughs> and I love. <laughs> yep. Sorry, I, that was very good. I know because I it's better than my Richard Dreyfus. Yeah, fuck everything is. Um, I loved Joust as a kid. I loved that game. Right? I have it. I have it on my Xbox. Bro. Of course you do. So when the movie came out, I was like looking forward to that scene. No Joust scene. Yeah. But uh, it was still great. Didn't it, wasn't it an outtake? I thought it was in like one there of the trailers. There was like one or little clip. Yeah, I think it like was. it was like three seconds. Right. Where the, boom. But. In the right. book, it was this long process of him trying to get to this thing to find a clue. And blah. anyway, I love Joust. So I was, I was, it was, I was, I'm going to be okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> John Wick. Highly entertaining. How could you just not? I, I love how he comes out of retirement and he's a bad motherfucker. Bamp. You do not kill someone's dog, dude. Bro. You, that's why. You, that's why you love that movie. No, but he's like he it's like he's he's no matter what, he's gonna come get you. He's like because he's the boogeyman. That's his nickname, but in Russian. So I don't know what yeah, is he that, called in He's this? called the Boogeyman the in boogeyman? Russian. Boogeyman? Yeah. Chef is Mark, it like booger man, like yes. I have booger in those. He's got so many mokos, dude. It's crazy. That's a good movie. It's, it's just entertaining. I mean, seriously, and and I do say that with the Matrix, that scene when they're in the bottom of the lobby of the hotel room. Oh yeah, yeah. Of, of the of that. That's oh yeah. That is very John Wickish. Absolutely. In just the way, it's just total carnage. Yes, love it. Absolutely. Love it. Yeah, please. But the John Wick, he was, you know, knives, fighting, guns. Da, 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 da. I mean, he's just, he's he's the expert at everything. And he's non, he's relentless. And, and he doesn't talk about it. He just does it. Correct. He says very few words. He's just coming after you. And you better watch the fuck out. 
that's the deal. Love it. And I love the whole, the Continental Hotel, where I think that hotel, they should have a movie called The Continental. And they could just tell stories about other, they don't need John Wick. What right. other things have happened to that hotel? Who else has stayed there? What? Go. You know, like, fuck yeah, tell that let's, shit. Let's write some fucking script, right? Fuck yeah, you talk me into it. I also, had, at 14, I had Animal House and 15th. Okay. I had Revenge of the Nerds. <sighs> it's a hard one to not put on there. Because that's that was my childhood. Yes. Lamar with the javelin. <laughs> Booger my Presley. Oh, the nerds. Huh. Yes, yeah. that's Lambda, pretty Lambda, good. Lambda. The trilams. Ooh, ah, alpha, beta. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> fucking John Goodman's in it and he's healthy <laughs> like he's like fucking I wouldn't fuck with him at that point I would have fucked with I would have fucked with Roseanne Dan Goodman or John Goodman but I wouldn't have fucked with uh, uh, Revenge of the Nerds right because yeah. he was like football coach a big fucking big dude yeah and like fit not like just a blubber now he's lost weight and, I think yes why not regardless Revenge of the Nerds love that Omitted from this? Yes. A couple actors, if I may. Sure. Jeff Bridges. True. No Lebowski. No, no about No Iron Man. Almost put him down. No Iron Man. No, no, no Tron Avenger Legacy. Movies at all. No Tron. Tron was like my... That was up there for me, too. It was a Disney movie. It was clean, and it was just master control program, you know, all that shit. Fucking loved it. Bad guy in that. Derringer, whatever the fuck. Tron, obviously. Which was uh, Bruce Lightweight from Babylon Five or whatever? What was his name? Light Light Garden Light Bruce Bruce whatever. Anyway, yeah. Um, any anyone that you think that was omitted, we didn't talk about. Interesting. Well, that was it, man. Well done, sir. We got all our movies, bro. Boom. Except for one person didn't get their one movie. <laughs> I still love you, man. Are you going to be okay? Oh, I'll send you a smoke signal from my deserted island if you can maybe throw it in a bottle and get it over to me. Uh, just like Castaway. Yeah, that's what I mean. You know it. All right, bro. I love <laughs> you, man. Well, that has been uh, Beer Google's uh, whatever episode this is. 17.9. I I would suggest that you do this with your friends. Have a little draft. I was shocked that we didn't step on each other. We had like two or three that crossed over. We had one. It was really one point of contention. That's it. But they, you didn't have T2 in there? Not shocked, but... A little surprise, just because of the way. But once you get aliens, you're kind of like I pretty every, much have I every mean, fucking sci-fi movie I've ever needed. So, boom, that's been it, bro. I love well, you. Love you too. Let's kick this out, and then uh, I think we got something coming up. Where we're going to talk about music. God help us. We're going to talk about others. So, you know, I'm going to pull you. Say one thing in closing. San Dimas High School football it, rules. Oh, bro, you didn't say Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Bro. Wasn't on my list. And it has George Carlin in it, bro. No. All right. We're, we got a drink here. Let me pour you out one more before we uh, close this out. Salute. I'll, I'll try to find this Russian thing during our break time. Salute, sir. We drink. Take care, everybody. Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh.